If you want to learn even more of the big changes found in the first aid for the US Assembly Step 1, 2021, please be sure to watch this video until the end. As a bonus, I also added the pages with the new updates and changes. And for a second bonus, I'll also show you a mistake that was found in the first aid so that you can avoid it. Now let's look at the biochemistry section. The major updates here are fragile X mutations and essential fatty acids. Immunology, interleukin-13 and imikumod. Microbiology, a section in how to diagnose strep throat was added as well as this complex. Fibrio vulnificus and Loeffler syndrome. Pathology, ionizing radiation toxicity and acute phase reactants. More specifically, aptoglobin and procalcitonin were added. Pharmacology, tissue distribution of adrenergic receptors. And just a reminder that this is part two of the changes seen in the first aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2021. So in the previous video, I mentioned other pharmacology changes such as gynecomastia and also an entire page of drug suffixes, as well as age-related changes that are seen in pharmacokinetics. So after you're done watching this video, you can be sure to watch part one of this video. Public health services. So like I said in part one, this is one of the sections where the writers for the first aid definitely made the most changes to basically mirror all the updates for the increased number of ethics questions that would be seen on the actual exam. So they added case series and ecological study Bradford Hill criteria, as well as p-value. They also introduced other concepts such as a near miss, as well as including more ethical scenarios at the end of the section. So if you had just bought your first aid 2021, but your previous first aid was well annotated and you just want to know what are the new updates and changes, well, you can find them here in these pages. So you can pause the video, take a screenshot or write them down or just refer back to this video whenever you want to like look at those updates and changes very quickly. So that is the first set of pages, then the second set and the last set of pages. So here they are. And if you are liking this content so far, please be sure to power up that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you never ever miss another video like this. And if you see any other updates that I've missed, you can just leave them in the comment section below. The cardiovascular system. They added hereditary channelopathies as well as PSVT. If you watched part one of this video, then you know that they added quite a bit for the endocrine system. So some more updates and changes that I found were the addition of kinase receptors, cation exchange resins, acute adrenal insufficiency, and hypoglycemia, gastrointestinal system, microscopic colitis, acute gastrointestinal bleeding, congenital umbilical hernia, and focal nodular hyperplasia. Before I move on to the next section, I also want to highlight that not only were changes made or updates, but they also took out certain sections, like they removed some topics, they even removed some graphics. But let's move on to hematology. Anti-cancer small molecule inhibitors, as well as anti-cancer monoclonal antibodies. Mastocytosis, 
the pathophysiology of myelofibrosis, as well as how to ameliorate the adverse effects of chemotherapy. If you are well into your preparation and have done your old questions, then you know that this is a high yield topic or at least in practice questions. And continuing this list from hematology, um, we have antibody drug conjugates, docetaxel, Humes test, and a comparison between leukemoid reaction and CML. Musculoskeletal system. So they added the cell biology of bone, myositis ossificans, as well as leg ulcers. And guys, I'm curious, what do you think about all the changes and updates that you see in the 2021 version of the first aid for the USMLE Step 1? Let me know in the comment section below. Neurology. So a comparison between primary and secondary headaches. And if you want a quick review of this, I do have a video about this topic on my channel. I can just leave it in the description below, so look out for that. As well as images for the cerebellum, Friedrich's ataxia, and local anesthetics. Psychiatry. Intermittent explosive disorder, transtheoretical model of change, and motivational interviewing. Renal system. Uremia, renovascular disease and FGF23. The reproductive system, field defects, amniotic fluid, and then we have this duct cyst, and the physiologic changes in pregnancy. And guys, if you like this meme, then like this video. If this was you when the first A2021 was just released, then like this video. Now let's move on to the respiratory system. The changes or updates include digital clubbing, cyanide toxicity, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, and the treatment for a pulmonary embolus. I think I pretty much covered all of the changes and updates in part one and part two, but if not, then let me know in the comment section below. But let's move on to the error that's in the 2021 book. So on page 447, it says the dipyridamol decreases CAMP. But they actually have the correct information on page 249. So I'm not sure how this mistake happened, but it did. Now that you guys are aware of it, then you can avoid memorizing this mistake. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you never miss another video.